All right, what's up everybody? It's your boy Akeen and welcome to today's vlogs. Here to give you my top 10 prospects for each position headed towards the 2015 NFL Draft. Yes, I know things are premature and as I mentioned before, I'm going to change things up this upcoming season. Now for the first time, I decided to give you my prospect rankings earlier and then do more evaluation coming towards the end of the season where I will give you my final, uh, my final list for my top prospects each position headed towards the 2015 NFL draft. Starting with today's blog, I'm going to kick things off with my top 10 wide receivers. Starting at number 10, Kaysen Williams out of Washington. This is a good receiver, 6'2", 221 pounds, but he needs to have better consistency from his quarterbacks uh, um, for, for Washington in order to help expose him and raise his draft stock. At number 9, Deontay Greenberry out of Houston. Now, he has a great quarterback in John O'Corn, who was the American uh, Athletic Conference fret rookie of the year last season passed well over 3,000 yards and actually Greenberry had 1,202 yards receiving last season and hopefully this year he will at least duplicate his numbers at number eight Dorian Green Beckham out of Oklahoma now he's not eligible to play this upcoming season thus far unless anything changes highly doubt it but he should stay for at least one more year just to stay another year in school try to get his degree as well as raise his draft status for 2016 now he started his career at Missouri had, had a, showed a little bit of promise last season, having over 800 yards receiving and 12 scores. But due to way too many off the field issues, he was dismissed from the team, and that is a big question mark on his, based on his character. But he could still try to start things off with a fresh start from at OU and try to raise his draft stock. At number seven, Nelson Aguilar out of USC, um, Southern California. He's a great receiver, and I think he could be due for an All Pac-12 performance this upcoming season. At number six, Rashad Green out of Florida State University. Now, this Seminole had 203 yards in the season opener against Oklahoma State, and he has All-American written all over him, and I think he could be a good finalist for this season's Fred Bolitnikoff Award given to the nation's top receiver. Now, due to his slim size at 178 pounds, I think he that's the reason why I had to rank him at number six, but if he bolts up and get at least get to 190, I think he could possibly make within my top four. At number five, Devontae Parker out of um Louisville. He's 6'3", 209 pounds, but he's dealing with a foot injury, and that's why I have him in my top five. Now, due to um, when he does come back, for the Louisville Cardinal and Coach Bobby Petrino will use him. He's a great workaholic. I think he would definitely come within my top three coming towards the end of the year, depending on his numbers. At number four, my man, Justin's uh, guy, uh, Jalen Strong out of Arizona State. Now, he had 146 yards in the first game against Weber State, and I think he could become first-team All-Pac-12 honors at the end of the year. I'm sticking with another Pac-12 receiver at number three, Ty Montgomery out of Stanford. Now, the reason why he's at number three, he has great size at 6'2", 215 pounds, but he's also a great weapon as a return specialist and kickoff and, and punt return. He uh, even had a punt return in the season opener against UC Davis. At number two, Sammy Coates out of Auburn. Now, he's a great deep ball threat. I think he could become an all-SEC all -SEC honor at the end of the year. But I think because he's a deep ball threat and he has great size, I think he could become a good first-rounder in 2015, depending on his numbers at the end of the year. And at number one, I'm going to have to go with Amari Cooper out of Alabama. I think he has great route running ability and great experience. And I do see him as the best receiver so far. But anything can happen this upcoming year. And I will give you guys, keep you guys posted with my rankings throughout the season and the football source. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys will be in just a second. I still have more videos to upload this upcoming uh, th for the next two days with my top prospects for 2015. I'll see you guys in just a couple of seconds. Thank you for watching this blog. From the football source, I'm your man, Keen McCall. Be easy.